boys. How are you doing today? How are you doing? If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're not new from the channel and you're coming back, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about Dr. Voodoo, or Brother Voodoo, whichever one you want to call him. Uh, he's a super cool character to learn about. I actually really enjoyed him. You know, recently he was in Marvel Strike Force, so I definitely want to do a video on him. So, I don't want to make this intro too long. Um, you know, hopefully you guys like the channel. If you do, please like and subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year, and any help would be appreciated. You can always unsubscribe later, because you might think I'm bad, and that's not wrong. But other than that, let's get started. Brother Voodoo first appeared in Strange Tales number 169 in September of 1973 by Stan Lee, Roy Thomas, Len Wein, hope I'm saying that right, and John Romita Sr. Brother Voodoo is a really interesting character because to learn about him, we actually need to learn about two characters, Jericho and Daniel Drum. Jericho and Daniel were both raised in Port Au Prince, the capital of the island nation of Haiti. Growing up in Haiti, they lived in a poorer area of the city, and in, at the age of nine, during an altercation with an old man, Jericho would be cursed, and when he and his twin brother would come home that night, they would actually find their parents dead, with their only relative being their aunt. Now, with Jericho believing this was all his fault, he would run away to America, and he wouldn't come back for another 12 years. But during these 12 years, Daniel Drum, his twin brother, would begin to learn under Papa Jambo to become a local Hangen, so he could learn the power of voodoo, and he used this stuff for good. So while Jericho stayed in America, in the meantime, Jericho would end up becoming a psychologist and having a successful career. But during an encounter with a sorcerer who claimed to be possessed by the serpent god Dambala, Daniel would actually be cursed and begin to wither away, claiming his soul was rotting from the inside out. Now that Jericho having this successful career, he would actually hear about this and rush back to Haiti to see his brother one last time. And after Daniel's death, Jericho vowed to get revenge for his brother, and he would carry out his corpse into the forest and find Daniel's teacher, Papa Jambo. Now, Jericho would train for weeks, and as weeks would go by, we'd find out that Jericho was actually a natural when it came to voodoo, and Papa Jambo saying it was one of his best students ever. With Jericho now becoming the new local Hungan, Papa Jambo would infuse Jericho's spirit with the spirit of his dead brother, Daniel, to create the newest and strongest version of Brother Voodoo. So once Papa Jambo had the successor, he would actually pass on the first thing that would happen once they became the new brother Voodoo is that Jericho and Daniel would take revenge on killing Dambala. And from here on out in the comics, uh, brother Voodoo would kind of jump from comic to comic, helping out with other well-known superheroes like Spider-Man, Moon Knight, Black Panther, and many more, obviously like Doctor Strange. And he would eventually, over time, become the Sorcerer Supreme and take the title of Doctor Voodoo. The only thing is, while he was Sorcerer Supreme, he would run a free clinic to help the sick in New Orleans, and this would spread himself thinner and thinner. And during this short period of time as the Sorcerer Supreme, he would actually end up, only a few months later into his comic book run, he'd end up sacrificing himself to save the world. And we wouldn't hear from Dr. Voodoo for another three years in the comics, till 2014, when Dr. Doom would make a deal with a minor god and revive Dr. Voodoo to help stop the Axis event where all the good guys became bad guys and the bad guys became good guys. And so they were still kind of at arm still. And it was a very weird event. But essentially, they'd bring him back. They would use Daniel to help possess the Scarlet Witch who can help reverse the spell that caused all this. But from here, we wouldn't see too much of Dr. Voodoo. At the moment, typically just a background character of other series. And from what I've last seen of him, he was in the Empire event for the Avengers storyline. And I think it's kind of a shame because his powers are actually super interesting. In the way, like, besides him using magic and po the power of Voodoo, uh, Jericho actually gets double the strength while him and his brother are the same body. But at any time, Daniel can actually leave Jericho's body to possess someone else to help his brother out in a fight or maybe just in general. So I think when it comes to the idea of Dr. Voodoo and like the story of Dr. Voodoo, I still think it's a seriously untapped character in Marvel. He's only ever had one series called Dr. Voodoo Avenger of the Supernatural, which I personally really enjoyed. And the best part is about it is that it goes over his origin as well. So you don't really have to read a bunch about him to understand him. I think this character has major potential and I'd love to see more of him, especially like in the MCU, because I can only imagine him teaming up with like characters like Doctor Strange or maybe like Moon Knight because we're going to see Moon Knight here in the MCU soon and hopefully we're going to have a video coming out of him here next month. It's all, There's a lot to read. But um, 
The thing is, only time's really going to tell with this character. And so that's, we just have to be patient. And hopefully we can see more about Dr. Voodoo. Other than that, guys, I really hope you guys liked the video. And again, I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you do me a favor, like and subscribe. Um, I really want to make this content better. So if you guys do see anything that you guys want me to talk about or that I'm missing, you know, please tell me because like, I want to take your guys' criticism. But other than that, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. And I'll check you guys out later. See ya.